Right, well the plan now is to see how fast I've got to be going astern to get control of the boat to fight the prop walk with my bow facing upwind. Remember, I'm just going to put a bit of way on here to maintain my position because uh, while I'm talking to you, she's blown away. Um, the stern is going to want to go that way, which means the bow is going to want to go that way as she pivots around her kit. And because I'm facing upwind, the wind has got every chance to grab the bow and throw it all over the place. So I'm going to lose weight until I've completely dead in the water. And just before the bow starts to blow away, I'm going to put her astern and see how long it takes me to catch her and see how fast we've got to be going before we can grab her, if indeed we can grab her. She's on her way now, so here we go. Put a reasonable amount of revs on. And there goes the stern, away to starboard. The bow's trying to blow, my word, caught her straight away. That is absolutely brilliant. Oh yeah, but because we're blowing along here, we're probably doing a couple of knots already. But she's steering sweetly. Watch this, take her over, take her over here a bit. There she goes, I've caught her with the tiller, and now I'm going to take her back the other way. There she goes, no problem at all, absolutely. Impressive, but look what's happening to me. Whoa, I'm being carried around by the tiller, and I'm a big, strong guy, so you've got to be really careful about that. Because once you start doing well, I'm doing nearly four knots now astern. I'll take the ropes off, it's getting frightening. Because if you let that tiller take charge, watch how I'm holding it really near the middle of the boat. I don't want it to get square across the boat because if I do, A, the boat's going to get out of control. I might not be strong enough to push it back on a bigger boat than this, plus. I'm doing my rudder bearings, no favours. I don't want any of that. So, well, there we go. Pretty impressive downwind, Mr. Centaur. Nice work, Mr. Giles, who designed it. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back to where I started from. Notice that I'm having a good look around all the time. It's absolute classic to bump into somebody when you're practicing like this. Now we're going to try it with our stern upwind. Ready. She's blown away. And I've let the stern go that way, which means the prop's trying to take it down there, and I've got to get it up there. But the wind's helping me look, and it's blowing my bow down, and I've got control almost immediately. Because I'm stern to the wind, not bow to the wind. Very coming down here. Miss it, no problem at all. Hold the cross we could take this opportunity to just think about the mechanics of steering a boat astern. What you do is you've got a tiller, it's easy. Because you can just think the rudder is effectively sticking out the back of this tiller. It's an extension of the tiller. And if I use the tiller as a gun sight and point it, looking down it, the way I want the stern to go, if I want to go that way, I push it over there and I look down it, that's where I'm facing and that's where the stern's going. It's easy. You can't really get your knickers in a twist if you're doing it like this. Think of it like this. Here we go again. This time I want my stern to go over there. Put the tiller here and I look down the tiller and that's where the stern's going to go. And it is doing. Sometimes, if you're still fighting a prop walk, it won't go that way. And then you have to just grit your teeth and bear it until she gets a grip again. That's what's happening now. It's taken quite a while for the catch because I'm going quite slowly and we know that she needs to be doing two and a half knots or so before she'll really steer going astern. Anyway, we've got her. All square about that. <laughs>